Hello and welcome to a preparation tutorial. In this video, we are going to show you the steps for media and egg white preparation for lysozyme purification and its analysis. Before starting, make sure to wear protective glasses and gloves while working with reactants. Prepare fresh egg white before each course. Take a picker and separate the egg white from yolk. The shell and yolk are discarded in a second picker. Try not to get any shells into the egg white and wear gloves during the separation step to avoid contamination. Take a 250 ml picker and place one piece of cheesecloth over the opening and fix it with a rubber band. Make a 5 cm deep hollow in the cheesecloth so the egg white will cover in the middle Slowly pour a half of egg white. Wait for at least 10 minutes to let the liquid part separate from the viscous part. Add the rest of egg white. If too much viscous egg is left in the cloth, carefully remove the viscous egg white with a spoon. Wait another 10 minutes. Carefully remove the rubber band and take the cheesecloth together. Try to form a small bag and wipe it off of a liquid which is covered on the outside of the bag at the edge of the picker like is shown in the video. Discard the cheesecloth. In the next step, transfer the filtered egg white in a cylinder and note the total amount of egg white. If the filtered egg white will not be used the same day, close the cylinder with aluminium foil and store it in the fridge until the beginning of the next course. Otherwise, place it on the ice. In the next part of a preparation, we are going to prepare buffers for the maintaining of a pH level in order to separate lysozyme from the rest of the proteins. For the buffer preparation, we will need sodium hydroxide, glycine and sodium chloride. For a total preparation of 500 ml of buffer A, we are going to weight 1.28 grams of sodium hydroxide and 3.76 grams of glycine. 1.46 grams of sodium chloride will be used for addition to buffer B later on. Before adding the reactants, we are going to measure 350 milliliters of water and transfer it into a durant bottle. Don't forget to label it before the preparation. The bottle is transferred then into the film hood where the reactants will be added. While the reactants are added, to avoid some losses, use a pipette to get some of the buffer and wash the walls of the vessel, and then put it back. When adding sodium hydroxide, use a spoon as due to pressure change in the film hood, granules might melt and stick to the walls of the vessel. Add the magnetic stick and turn on the magnetic stirrer. 
Wait until all the granules are dissolved. Meanwhile, we could take a 50 ml falcon tube for preparation of 50 ml of buffer B and label it. In the next step, the pH of the buffer A should be adjusted. Before we begin, turn on and calibrate the pH meter. The sensor of the pH meter is placed into the buffer A and the pH level is measured. Chloride acid or sodium hydroxide are used to adjust the pH level to 10. In case the level is above 10, acid chloride would be used to lower it, otherwise sodium hydroxide will be used to raise it. Add the solution drop wisely to the media. Place the sensor back into the media and press red. Allow time between jobs for the pH to stabilize as the acid is mixed throughout the liquid. When we successfully reach our desired level, we could remove the sensor from the bottle, rinse it with deionized water and clean it with a tissue. Don't forget to put its cap back on, as the sensor always should be in a liquid medium. In the end, add water till 500 ml while wetting the bottle. Don't forget to wet the bottle beforehand to extract its weight in the end from the total mass. Take the previously labeled falcon tube for buffer B and add somewhere between 20 to 25 milliliters of water. Add the weighted 1.46 sodium chloride Add the rest of the water till the level of it reaches 50 ml. Close the tube and mix it placing one finger on the cap, moving it upside down for several times. In the last step, we are adding buffer to previously separated egg white which was added to the cylinder and stored on the ice. Regularly to 5 ml of egg white, 25 ml of buffer A is added. In our case, we prepared two aliquots to work with. First, label the tubes with the date, content and the number of sample to not get confused. In both tubes, add 25 ml of buffer A with the help of the serological pipette. Unwrap the pipette as it's shown in the video only to a half of the pipette and hold it from its above part to avoid contamination. Add the pillow's ball at its end. Better squeeze it before and collect 25 ml of buffer A and transfer them to the labeled tubes.
The same procedure should be repeated for the egg white. This time use another serological pipette to avoid contamination. Close all the tubes and don't forget to clean the space.